And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Undying Scythria is going to be our first deck today. We got three viewer submitted donation decks. This one is going to be a, a Spectral Matron Scythria combo deck. I'm sure you all have seen this combo uh, plenty by now. Very, very powerful. Scythria is just a really powerful unit, which is why it's 10 mana, <laughs> right? It's as expensive as you can possibly be. And, um, but when it's summoned, double all allies, like these are all the allies in play, double their health power and grant them challenger. And so what we're doing is we're combining that with the Undying, where it has the revive me at round start if it dies, the last breath. The Undying is amazing with challenger. And so Scythria can buff up the Undying and give the Undying challenger. And uh, so then we can just keep smashing the Undying against the opponent's best blockers. Should be pretty cool. Um, if the Undying, like, the, the weird part, so, like, that's, that's like, a pretty decent combo. But the weird part about this combo is, like, let's say our Undying is a 3-3, three, three, okay? And then uh, we play this, and then we put Scythria into play, and now it doubles it, gives it Challenger. So now it's a 6-6 six, six Challenger. And let's say we challenge another 6-6. Six, six. All right, so now our Undying dies. When it comes back, it's just going to be a 4-4, four, four, right? Like it gets like that Scythria buff goes away whenever it dies and, and gets revived. So it will just be a 4-4 four, four without Challenger. So that's something to, to take note of. Um, let's see. Besides that, we have like a lot of like small things that like you want to sacrifice. Not only the Undying, but then three Hapless Aristocrat, three Curse Keeper, three Fading Icon, a ton of like little things. But not really very much to actually sacrifice them. Only one Ravenous Butcher. We got our Glimpse Beyonds. And then two Caretakers. And that's kind of about it. Though, yeah, then Spirit Leeches also. So I'm kind of interested to see how that, that uh, plays out. Or if we'll just have like a bunch of 1-1s that just kind of sit around. And then we, we double up the 1-1s to be 2-2s. Two At least I'll have Challenger. Anyway, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's see how this does. There's a couple of Mobilize to help make our deck a little faster. Um, that's what it's about. It's about these Shadow Owls units controlling the board, waiting, kind of stalling, getting to the late game, and then Matron Scythria to finish it out. Um, I'm a little worried about only two Scythrias also. <laughs> Feels like this is a deck that like, you always need Scythrias for sure, so like, kind of should be playing three Scythria, but we'll see. All right, but anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. Because with only two Scythrias, that means that I'm, I'm definitely going to have to keep Scythria in the opening hand for sure, because I'll, I'll be worried about... Uh, not be able to find it besides that. Um, no, yeah, actually not going... Uh, Nasher said no card back change or anything like that. Nope, we're going to go just like OG, generic, everything, because our, our deck has no champions. I don't use this board that much and these card backs and stuff that much. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and try them out with our no champion deck. I'm going to keep Curse Keeper Caretaker combo. I'm just kind of see see if we find some other stuff like the Undying, for example. The Undying works well with single combat. I don't really want to give them the slay. Hoping to take down Renekton. Awesome. I think that's a win. I think that's a win. Remember back when Caretaker used to be a, a 2-1 two, two and this Escaped Dom Abomination was a 4-4? Four, four. Kind of want to just single combat that. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Virtue 
Virtue guides me. All right, gotta find Cythria. They grow up so fast. It's like could play the Curse Keeper and then Spirit Leech, but yeah, so they would have the six six to block. I guess I could have also play Caretaker though too. Oh, found all right, we found Cythria. Cythria v. Cythria. Nothing stands in our way. Wow. Man, they really killed that thing. If I forgotten then, no. no, I guess not. Is everyone okay? That'll do. Okay, so so far so good. Good first game to start the day off. So it looks like we're playing against Renekton Sivir again. <laughs> this version's a little different. They got Freljord, they got Sejuani. Alright, we have our Undying. So I like it. Basically, I like that we have the single combat to go along with the Undying. Like, we can Glimpse be on the Undying. Make it 3-3, single combat, fight something. But so far, so good. That last game is exactly what our deck is supposed to do. Exactly what we want it to look like. Um, the Sharp Sights were crucial that was just perfect last game like that that first game was just a perfect game Yo, know, opponent's playing Renekton Sivir Sejuani Lady Elise, where are you? Mm, I'll just wait and sacrifice the undying My one hapless aristocrat trades with two omen hawks, which is great, but they get plus four plus four on units coming up. That not so great. Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? We'll get our legs in. So I don't know, it's possible it's possible I should have just killed the spiraling. Like the three two. And then I would have been able to block the four three. Because if they if they have Renekton, yeah, maybe I should have just killed that spider instead of focusing on killing this undying. So Renekton will be able to challenge that spider. I should have just killed that spider before. Could be at 20. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. This is not good. Fall 
Yeah, eight six spell shield overwhelm for five mana. Like it's just, it's just a better Trindomir for five mana. Not good. Yeah, we looking pretty dead. Pain is nothing. That Shapestone's gonna be the card that kills me. Because I had. Yeah, that Shapestone's probably gonna be the card that kills me. You know, I'm kind of planning on like 5 5 single combat Renekton. The spell shield. Like, what can I draw? Like, if I draw Sharp Sight, Sharp Sight's like my best possible thing, or I guess Sharp Sight or Single Combat. Yeah, I mean, Sharp Sight or Single Combat just do more than like any of these other cards do. I certainly have to hope they can't play any more cards. Hmm, not Sharp, sharp Sight or Single Combat. Negative one. Sharp side would have kept me alive at one. Single combat would have kept me alive. I haven't played against Thresh Ash in a, Ash in a long time. Like, you know, Ash Undying. I haven't played against that in a long time. So this will be pretty interesting. Yeah, it's a throwback. So we'll keep our one, two, three, four curve. Hmm. Never really need a second. I don't need that second undying too much. I kind of want the. Dem Man, I don't want that second fading icon either. <laughs> So right now we just want like spells, right? Like we want like, especially like the Demacia spells. We got our units. We're fine there. Spectral Matron's okay too. We either want spells or the or the top end combo with Matron Cythria. We do not want more cheap units. That is what we don't want. Yeah, you're surprised Ruin Runner's a common should be at least rare. Yeah, that I mean that card's a I mean that card can be a champion. Like you could just make Talia a common and, and Ruin Runner a champion. <laughs> Ruin Runner is better than Talia. Alright, we need spells. We really don't need more just Blah units. Should have blocked Ash with the O1. I don't know why I didn't block Ash with the O1. I should have. I could just be at 20 right now. Yeah, so I just have, I'm just at 20 for, or I'm at 15 for no reason, right? Because, like, we just burned that 01. Should just be at 20 right now. A true Falyorian welcome. Well, 
I guess it's a spell. But it's really just more units. Kind of hoping for Caretaker. But this this should actually works, yeah. Because we're okay. So yeah, we have Matron set through the next round. Doesn't that seem weird that like the Spirit Leech replaces the unit, but it can also kill it? Seems kind of weird. Alright, so we cleaned up their board. Their Ash is at 3 out of 5, so 2 more, and then it's leveled up, and, and uh, we won't be able to block with much of anything. So, like, just like a harsh winds uh, would be pretty rough for us to see. Um. Let's go with this and draw 2. And we don't... Cool. Good thing I didn't use the mobilize. I got the five mana now for single combat black spear. So that should level up Ash. Avarosa, guide me. So their Ash is going to stay alive. So they just have Ash and one other card. <laughs> you know, so that's not... Not very many cards. Um, I guess, well, they're going to have the Frostbite card on top. I'm still playing this. The Frostbite card can Frostbite one thing, but they'll get rid of the 24-16. Yeah. Makes them have harsh winds. Alright, which they do not. Ash says that the things with zero power cannot block, but does not say they cannot attack. Trundle, Trundle, Trundle. What's Trundle with P and Z? Is that concurrent timelines? That's my best guess. Yeah, my best guess is concurrent timelines. These are all like good cards. Like. Like I'll I'll be happy to have like that black spear. The 
these old eyes still see far and clear. In Avarosa's name. Sentry's always good. Infarctus. Hello. I am doing good. How are you doing? We're just starting our stream off today. First, uh, first set of games. We're on game number four. Good static shot. So they spent four mana to kill my two mana card and draw a card. Not bad. Have Rosen Sentry also likes to draw cards. Safeguard our homes. Trump Womp likes to create cards. Do do do. I don't know if a pass is that beneficial to me. If we both pass. Just don't love any any play. Okay. So they did not take the pass. They just played that thing though. Ooh, nice soil. Come, come, this way. They love drawing cards. They love drawing cards. My saplings. Light the signal fires. All right, so they are up to ten cards in hand right now. You can see the Demacian border from here. We got some more units. Do I mobilize next round? Let's see, if I just play another Undying, then we save two spell mana. Next round we have, it's going to be turn seven. Uh, then we have six mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely look like a control deck that's trying to draw a whole bunch of cards, right? And so if Undying works out pretty well against this kind of decks, because they may be looking at like all their removal and like thinking, well, this removal doesn't look so good against the Undying. I need to start worrying about my life total now, though. 14. Because we are playing against Piltover and Zaun that has, you know, all the burn spells and stuff. It, looks, it could be a Karina Veraza deck that also can hit the Nexus and things like that. So I don't have the mana for both spells right now. Hear that. Gotcha. Let's talk about your tab. So what do they want to do with all these cards? What are they? What do you have? What are they trying to do besides heal their nexus? Anything else? You must know me, little one. You must. Maybe it's just only healing the nexus. The trolls are going to war. Okay, so the trolls, they're going to war. Understood. Bring down the skies. So what's 
what's their game plan? Hit that stairs? Oh no. Yeah, because that means they're playing Buried in Ice. Buried in Ice is a problem. So that's their plan, is a Buried in Ice combo deck. Yeah, so this is uh, not good for me. That's kind of, this is like the dream, this is like their dream, right? This is absolutely their dream, buried in ice, hit that stairs, six things including those undyings. And my opponent just, just lived their absolute dream. they need is just like a get excited something like that now I need to find another Cythria we're not playing enough Cythrias in this deck two Cythria is not enough Two Cythria, not enough. But yeah, so that's what they are. They're just a buried in ice deck. So that, that's like the perfect matchup for them, right? Because like my my whole deck is just like slow and proddy and just like go wide and makes a, like a huge board. That's that's like the perfect matchup for them. Good game, opponent. GG's. I agree. My opponent was doing something fresh. They had a, a perfect counter to us. But... I'm sure they're pretty excited after that game, right? Like, they, they got to live their dream, so that's cool. All right, mulliganing the single combat. Cool, looking for more uh, allies with this mobilize. Yeah, opponent deserves that win for sure. Uh, we faced, it was a it was a control deck with uh, Buried and Ice. It was a Buried and Ice control deck. Play a fading icon to block. Don't do the ephemeral one? That's what I'm kind of thinking. No. I don't know. What's he doing the ephemeral one? Cool. Not Vile Feast. Vile Feast would have been pretty rough. Right, because then they would have been able to attack for eight. That's still, that's okay. That's only attacking for four, not eight. How do I kill that Thresh? Oh, 
Alright, so this thing's at three. My plan kind of next round is like Spirit Leech, Black Spear. Yeah, I just don't, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want, don't want to use Matron though. Could have gone for Matron single combat, but need to find Cythria first. I, th I think that's the one thing about this deck is that we need to have all three Cythrias in here. That's the one thing that I'm kind of regretting. Uh, you know, or that I was worried about. I guess not re regretting is not the correct word, but that's one thing I was worried about that is coming to fruition is that this deck needs... Um, Needs all three Cythrias. Matron. Or sorry, sorry, we have Matron. Sorry, no Cythria. This this deck needs to be playing three Cythria. Yeah, I mean this would be this would be perfect for Cythria, because we just put we just go Matron, put Cythria into play, Cythria kills Nasus, right? Like that's perfect. And then also our, our spectral matron's huge, and these are like two two challengers. If our hand had, had Cythria in it, I don't really know if we lose. But with these cards, I don't know how we win. I don't, yeah, I don't know what to do here. I don't. Okay, so that's, that's certainly like the, um, that's certainly the takeaway here, is never, ever, ever play this deck with less than three Cythrias. That's my, that's my personal Honest opinion. I, I don't think you can possibly play this deck with less than three Cythrias. I just don't think you can. Okay, so that one... Didn't go our way. Alright, so... Um, yeah, I would... That's, that's like the big thing, right? Because... That, that that's how this deck wins, right? The Undying doesn't beat anybody. Like, not gonna lie. I mean, we we've played tons of Undying decks before. It's cool and everything, and it's it's kind of a good bridge, and it, it it like enables you to like draw a lot of cards and everything. It's a good bridge, but it doesn't win any games, and that's that's okay. But it's a it's like a source of card advantage for you to keep killing and everything, and, and it's a unit that can stay in play and and not uh, not die, but can stay in play for this part. But it it doesn't. You're never gonna win a game with that. That's harsh, but yeah, it's it's not going to consistently win games. This wins games. This combo is ridiculously powerful. It is so good, and especially how you have like mobilize, you can get it around a earlier. This combo is is unbelievably powerful. Play three of each, you know, like just just do it. Just play play three matron, play three Cythria. Get out of here with two stalking shadows. Get three stalking shadows in the deck. Go find find the combo because that's all you got to do is survive. Get to this combo. Play this combo a few times. Um, how you lose is you don't have this combo, right? We we did this this we did this combo twice. We won both of those games two and zero. We played three games where we didn't have this combo zero and three. There's no there's no um, you know like there's no surprise there, right? Like. Spectral Matron put Cythria into play in two different games. We easily won those games. The other three games, Spect you know, we did not have Spectral Matron and Cythria, and we lost all of those. So just... This is... Re 
is so ridiculously good to just make sure your deck can do it every game. And yes, you're going to have some clunky, yes, you're going to have like clunky hands, like where you're going to have like your matron Scythria early. And if it costs you a game because of that, okay. You know, like if you, if you, um, it's just, it's going to be a lot more rare. Like if you play three, three and three, um, yes, sometimes you will have matrons and Scythrias early and you get ran over by aggro. That, that can happen. Okay. You know, like that's, that's going to happen, but that's, that's going to happen less than if you don't play three of these and you just don't have your combo at all. Like you got to make sure you have your combo. Like you, you have to have it round eight every single time. And if you have mobilized, then have them round seven, because if, if you don't have, if you don't have the combo, we're not really winning. Yeah, there was, there was the other game. Yes, there was the game that I just cast Scythria, which isn't really, which wasn't really the combo, but I just, I played Scythria and my opponent obliterated my board with Buried in Ice. That was a, that was a, a weird, that was, that was definitely a game like where my opponent just had like a very good answer, but that was me just hard casting Scythria. That was not me, you know, having Matron Scythria because with Matron Scythria, you know, maybe, you know, we would have been able to do it rounds earlier and maybe we are able to do that over and over in like enough times that they don't have enough buried in ices, but with just only casting Scythria, you know, like they, they can have enough buried in ice. All right. So anyway, so as far as changing the deck goes, I definitely recommend playing three and three and getting three stalking shadows in here so we can find them. Oh, cause you got to have, got to have those. And like stalking shadows, getting multiple matrons is awesome and everything like that. So as far as like what to take out then, cause you know, obviously we can't play 42. Kind of look at some of these other cards. Like hapless aristocrat is very, whatever let's take out a hapless aristocrat because i don't think you need like three hapless and three curse keepers and three fading icons as far as like things to kill early when we don't have that many ways to kill them and it, it just it can take up board space that we don't really need so let's take out a hapless aristocrat and then probably a spell we kind of have like too many spells in a mobilized deck um and maybe like honestly maybe it's just mobilized is that spell but we have too many spells for the mobilized deck. It could also be single combat, sharp sight, glimpse beyond, black spear. One one of these spells somewhere has to go. Which one? So we have three glimpse, three sharp sight, three single combat, three stalking, two black spear, two mobilize. So one, two, three. So that's 12, 14, 16. Mobilize isn't. Mobilize really didn't look that good. It's not. It's okay, but it's not like a necessity. Could just be you just play one mobilize. The first mobilize is a whole lot better than the second because the first one makes the matron cost seven and like that's a big deal. Having like multiple mobilizes as we kind of saw that last game that just kind of ruins your hand of like being able to do other stuff. I could I could see just playing one mobilize because if your deck's doing all this stuff anyway, you probably don't mind round eight. And um, yeah, I, I like one mobilize. That's not a card like, you know, you wouldn't play like four or five mobilizes if you could, right? And so maybe you don't need two. It's really the, that first mobilize is awesome, but you don't really need another one after that. So there we go. Um, yeah, get more Scythria, get more Stalking Shadows, just get this combo, because this combo is ridiculously powerful. I was honestly a little disappointed with Undying. That's the other card that I could see. I could definitely see just playing like two of them. Right, like I could see going like two Undying, three Radiant Guardian, because since we want to stay alive and we want to combo a bunch, Radiant Guardian, pretty important with that, and also great with single combat. Like I could honestly see switching that up, because you don't really need, like, yeah, you don't really need like lots of Undyings. So that's that's the other thing I would kind of recommend is keeping your eye out on. I know like a lot of people love Undying, so we'll go three, you know, so I'll keep it here three, two. But I think honestly, more, the more successful version is probably two, three, because you still have all of these other, th you know, early units to be able to kill also. But something to keep your eye out on. All right, but that's going to be it here for Undying Scythria. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Uh, let me know, like, what do, what is your Undying Spectral Matron Scythria deck look like? Are you playing, like, Ruination in here with Undying? I know that's, that's a really good card to play with the Undying is Ruination. Are you doing that with your deck or you got anything... Uh, spicy that you're doing with an undying spectral matron deck i'd love to hear those comments about it all right but that's going to be it here for this one so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video